everybody, it's Tina. I'm your Justin's Creative Account Manager. And anybody who knows me knows that I do not socialize from a distance. But we know that this is the world that we live in right now. So I hope you're home taking care of yourself and being safe. We're super excited as a creative account team that we can offer you your booking from a distance. So I'm in charge of the editorial leadership part, one of my favorite things about your book, and that's what I get to present today. So I hope you enjoy it, and I hope that you take something valuable away. Also, you might want to check out my deer in the background. Your book is definitely a team sport. A solid team equals an amazing experience as well as a quality publication. This doesn't happen automatically, though. A strong plan is required, so I'll share some ideas concerning your classroom, your staff recognition, and your traditions that you can incorporate. Our spring theme is what's your more? What does that mean to you? To me, more is going the extra mile. It's putting in extra time. It's giving others the deserved praise. It's also being a team player. No one exemplifies more than Jerry from Cheer. I love your shoes, I love your hair, your jewelry looks amazing. You are beautiful, you are fantastic, you are a star baby, yes. Good morning, guys. Welcome to work. Have a great day, y'all. Have a great day. Yes. Yes. Hey. Good morning. Welcome to work. Have a great day. You gotta love Jerry. Everyone needs a Jerry on staff. Will you be your yearbook cheerleader? Whether or not you're Jerry, everyone needs to be totally committed. Leadership requires motivation and hard work. What's your more? Think about that for a minute. What are you willing to put into your yearbook experience? Let's begin with the first impression. What will your staff members see when they walk into your yearbook room? A yearbook room should have a unique and inviting feel. Give it personality. This staff created a room that feels like home. Doesn't every room need a unicorn over the door? <laughs> the largest wall houses framed covers encircled with photos of staff members on trips and during deadline nights. These photos bring back memories of a great year. Design your room so it makes you happy and makes you want to be there. The concept poster from the summer workshop anchors this wall, reminding the staff of the vision of the year. Not only is it important that your room is inviting, but nothing is more motivating than recognition for hard work and no one does it better than this staff. Each staffer is required to take photos for two events weekly. On Friday, the advisor and editors award deserving staffers with the editor's pick of the week and the advisor's photographer of the week. Here's an example of one of the winners. Each winner receives an enamel pin that they put on their yearbook staff lanyard. And at the beginning of the year, the advisor emails the faculty explaining the yearbook program and the significance of the enamel pins. These awards have been integral in creating the yearbook brand amongst the community, building the yearbook staff as a team, and increasing the photo quality in the book. I love these awards and the visual recognition. At Jossens, we designed a set of new staff pins. If you're interested, ask your yearbook rep for details. In addition to the advisor and editor awards, the principal gives shout outs to students who have taken storytelling photos. The principal posts photos in his weekly newsletter and showcases them on the campus TVs. Don't assume your administration knows what's happening in the yearbook room. Your job is to educate them. This further establishes your yearbook brand as well as markets what students will see in the book. Here's another great example from a clever group of editors. 
To motivate their staff, they created Journal Olympics. Yeah, say that three times quickly. The editors begin each class with announcements, deadline information, and details of this competition. This slide from the PowerPoint shows team rankings. They also give shout outs to specific staffers. It creates friendly competition and definitely motivates everyone to do their more. Not only is the winning team recognized, but individuals also receive special awards and incentives. Here we see the certificate and the fun gold medal. Gift cards are great if you can afford them. If not, the certificate and medal work well. The medals hang on computers as visual reminders to do more. Here's the second layer to this staff strategy. When deadlines feel challenging, the editors motivate with a deadline raffle. If you contribute to the deadline in a significant way, your name is put into a raffle. Names can go in more than once if you contribute even more. Names are drawn at the end of each deadline. If money is an issue for your staff, ask your local stores to donate or find fun dollar store items. You can even create tickets that allow a winner to choose the classroom music for the day or leave early for lunch. Just be creative. We have eight new staff certificates. These paired with the new enamel pins would be a great incentive for any staffer. Talk to your local rep for details. Nothing builds a team more than strong traditions. These are a few of my favorites. List your staff traditions. You must have fun. The JAU faculty bonded over unique socks that represented each person. Socks are so trendy. Mine had dogs on them and I love dogs. I wear them often. What could you do to build your team and show everyone's personality? It doesn't need to be expensive. This staff creates a theme related get to know you activity each year. With the 2020 theme, let us tell you, the editors designed the you tell us about dot 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 activity. Not only did they learn about one another, but it also helped the editors convey the theme concept and the story to be told. Once completed, the staff members taped the cards to computers. Don't forget, we have so many team building activities. The 24 Things lesson allows students to share fun facts about themselves. It even includes a head writing lesson that relates to the fun facts. See, learning can be fun. With the ideas I've shared, complete the goal portion of the more worksheet. You will determine areas of improvement for 2021 and set personal and staff goals. Schedule a Google Meet, Zoom, or Skype staff meeting to discuss these goals and the leadership strategies you want to implement to create your yearbook team. The more assignment sheet includes additional activities and assignments for remote learning and planning. Please contact me at tina.cleveland at jostens.com for questions and more ideas. I look forward to hearing from you and I hope that you have an incredible spring. Take care.